Maido. Hi there, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about purpose. Present oh Master Shimasho. This is the fourth year of the Presentation Japan series podcast. We're beaming around the world to you from sunny Minatoku in Tokyo. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Stroy, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president of Dale Kani Training Tokyo, Japan, and best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery is now released. All are available on Amazon. Through this podcast, I want to help you become a better speaker who is clear, confident, persuasive, and highly influential at those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentations Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. Every second Thursday, the Business of Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 261, 261. Today, we're talking about the purpose of our presentation. Before we tackle the purpose of our presentation, we need to understand who is in our audience. We covered this in episode number 260. So please go back and review that episode if you haven't already heard it. Basically, don't put pen to paper or start assembling a slide deck until you are crystal clear on who is going to be in the audience. Once we know what level to frame the content, we can get started on the next step, and that is being very clear on the purpose of the talk. Perhaps as an internal presentation. An all-hands meeting, a town hall, a regular weekly report on your division or section's numbers, the update on the marketing spend results, etc. It could be for an external audience drawn from your industry, a speech to the Chamber of Commerce, a Benkyor Kai or study group, a public gathering, etc. There are four things to consider regarding the type of talk we give. Number one, inform. This is a very common structure for internal and industry presentations. These are often rich data and deep insight talks. We will have statistics, expert opinion, the latest research findings. We have our finger on the pulse of the industry trends and what our company's outcomes have been. We want to provide value to the audience. And so we try to bring something to them which they didn't know or hadn't thought about. These types of public talks will often have titles such as the top five things regarding X, the latest research results on Y, etc. There will be detailed case studies from the front line that cast light on what is and isn't working. The question is which data and how much. We have to be careful because we can quickly become data dump junkies. We are always tending to cram too much information into the talk, and this can dilute the impact of the messages. Choosing what to keep and what not to use can be very difficult, but we must be disciplined. Always go for the gold and leave the silver and bronze to question time as reserve power. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. 
Today's show is brought to you by, on the 28th of October, we're doing time management. On the 4th and 5th of November, high impact presentations. On the 11th of November, we're doing successful public speaking. Check out our website at www.dale, D-A-L-E hyphen, Carnegie, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E dot C-O dot J-P. Lots and lots of value for you there. Now, to do better in Japan, email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. You can buy best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. That's the Bible for selling in Japan. And Japan Business Mastery and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. If you like learning by watching videos, there are over a thousand there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which is the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV Show. Don't forget... You can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. Number two, convince or impress. As speakers, we often think the task is selling our message. I'm sure You've had this experience. You toddle off to hear a talk, and the speaker is a dud. They are completely hopeless and can either barely string two words together, or they read the text or the screen to us, or even worse, they do both. Subconsciously, we have now extended this buffoonery to the entire organization and developed a lack of confidence in this entire group. We are musing that if this is who they put forward to the wider public, they must all be stupid. And so how can you trust a company like that? Remember, every time we stand up to speak, we are also selling ourselves and by extension, our section, division or company. We must believe that what we are sharing is important We want our audience to think that too. Sadly, audiences today are living in the age of distraction and the era of cynicism. So as presenters, we have to work super hard to overcome both. We need to be excellent presenters, really professional presenters. Plus, we also have to prove what we're saying is true. We have to show the value which emphasize the importance of our message. Number three, persuade or inspire to action. This is a particular skill always needed by leaders. We may have a message which we think is very important and we want our audience to benefit from it. To do so, they need to change what they're doing now or start doing something new. We want to get them to take some specific action. The only tools we have are our delivery excellence and our content relevancy and quality. Unless we have really assembled a quality content offer and have delivered it in a highly professional manner, we won't be persuading anyone to do anything be that internally or externally. Prime Minister Winston Churchill was the keynote speaker to Harrow, his old college, in October 1941, as Britain alone faced the Nazi domination of all of Europe. He said slowly, never, ever, 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 ever give up. Those seven words were electrifying. Now, that is persuasion. That is inspiration. We're all facing COVID's war 
on our companies, on our businesses, on our livelihoods? Are we rising to the occasion with our persuasive take action presentations to our troops? Number four, entertain. Do we have to be stand up comedians? Great if you have that facility, but it's not required for speakers. Humor is a very difficult thing to master for an amateur business presenter who only speaks a few times a year at the most. We can bring passion to our talk and transfer our positive energy to the audience. If we say something and the audience laughs, write that down, baby, because that is humorous, even though that may not have been our intention. Know who is in our audience. Craft the talk to match that audience and decide what is the purpose of our talk. Once you have that sorted, then get to work on the detailed design of close number one, close number two, the main body with tons of evidence, and finally the opening, and design it in that order. Thank you for joining the Presentation Japan series. If you got value from today's show, spread the love around and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Immediately apply what you have learned today, use it, and go out there and become a presentations legend. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.